I've seen some crazy things on podcasts, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody invite somebody on their podcast with the sole purpose of trying to swindle and finesse them. The potential victim in this scheme is a young entrepreneur out of Atlanta called Aristotle. Aristotle recently went viral for revealing that Glorilla scammed him out of $400,000. A bad investment, bad, put money into an investment that wasn't good because uh, technically that's what would have happened to the people Hell that originally yeah. invested, right? And I was pissed off. I, yeah. lost, I lost like 400 racks. <laughs> off of? Yeah. Um, Glorilla. Uh, she she stole some money from me. Oh, stole? Uh, yeah. And then um, who else? Wait, how? Yeah, we gotta stop here for a minute <laughs> <laughs> before you even say you who else. You just fuck good job by that. How did she steal the money from you? I paid her some money over six figures to do something for me, and she didn't complete the task. She still got two more tasks to complete, and it's on contract. And I'm still going through court about that. How long has it been? It's been a year since March of last year. So mm. is is what happened is she wasn't as big then when you first nah, did the deal? What, nah, that's what she was big. It's just, you know, a celebrity, cocky, I don't, I'm not going to fulfill the contract. He will go on live and reveal that he has taken her to court, but the process is a little too slow. <laughs> so he got 50000 for anyone who can speed up the process. Now, you know, that was probably a weak moment, right? The brother was probably pissed off and said something he didn't mean. Was show up for five minutes on the Zoom and do a 30-minute live with my wife. You know what this stupid ratchet ass, no bed frame, ugly teeth before she had money. This bitch ditched us and took our money. So, this shit happened in March. I'm pissed off, but you know, I ain't no drama type dude. So, I'm not finna blast people. I'm not finna do that. I'm asking, hey, can we can we resolve this? Can we blah 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 this and that? You know, you know what this is? She just ignoring us. So I said, okay, I filed a lawsuit, and I'm like, cool. The lawsuit taking too long. You get what I'm saying? The law, I don't like this court. That's the reason I would never ever do business with somebody again. Cause once you go, to it take years. So now I'm like, man, where the, where, where's the? I ain't gonna say what I wanted to do. But I'm like, hey, man, look, I got 50. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey. You know you fed up when you are a multi-millionaire entrepreneur, bro, and you coming on live talking about, hey, bro, the wolves in the streets tap in, man. I got 50,000. Whoever can get this chick. All right, so that's how you know he's fed up, right? Now, he also said that because he has to go to court with Glorilla and do the most, man, it completely turned him off you know, in investing in others and giving other people money because he just, you know, it hasn't worked out for him. Giving others money haven't really worked out for him, so he's done with it. So while he was on a podcast, it looks like the host seen him as an easy lick, and she was going to try to get some funds out of him too. We're going to, he's going to be teaching me. I told him with the money I'm making every month, I at least want to try to buy a house. Okay. Yeah. You Residential. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah, a house. Okay, so let me ask you this. Um, do you keep your income options open? If you ever hear this coming from the mouth of a financial guru on YouTube, run. I feel like that's the last question you will want to hear while on a podcast trying to have a discussion. What is that? What do you mean? Meaning are you open to hearing other ideas in which you could potentially earn a profit? We're interested in hearing them, but... You can literally hear the loud <sighs> from his wife. They are annoyed and agitated. Yo, you can even see his body language and him doing this. Yo, he's annoyed. Like, why would you even ask this, right? It's because he knows what's coming next. He knows she's asking that to set up, <laughs> like, a moment where she then panhandles and beg him for some money. One thing we had to learn from being burnt in the past is all money got to go to us until, like, because we have never made money from ever investing in anybody but ourselves, mm. ever. Like, so, we only took losses. I'm asking this question, and I, I respect that. I understand that. Um, but I'm sure you've tracked me and David's success history, and you kind of know a little bit about what we do. And I'm asking because you have such this affinity and connection to specifically the Cleveland Avenue general area. Mm -hmm. And as you may know, we've recently purchased a 15,000 square foot building 
uh, right. commercial property in that area. And we have some phenomenal plans that we've shared with you before. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we just so happen to be seeking investors. And we want you to have your fan, your feet planted right on Cleveland Avenue. And essentially, I'm just throwing that out there and, and asking if this is a conversation that we can entertain. We'll be right back, but I want y'all to just look at this man's face and look at the awkward silence. Yo, you could tell he's probably thinking... The audacity. Like, I just told you about how I got scammed for $400,000. I just told you how people continue to burn me whenever I do business with them. And, like, your first reaction to that isn't, oh, my God, that's effed up. Your first reaction to that is, damn, if they got you for $400,000, <laughs> I got to get in on that, too. He's an easy lick. Yo, you can see Aristotle is, oh, uh, he... He's visibly upset and annoyed with you. This is the honest truth. Mm -hmm. And because this is full transparency. Now, as far as what I'm doing with my money and what I'm doing with my buildings, not so much. But when it mm -hmm. comes to us investing in other people, I was so pissed off in 2023 that I told my wife that I have to take a break off people for like a good five, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Like, like, I will never allow myself to be, and the only time I ever get that mad is when I invest in someone and I don't get my ROI. Mm -hmm. So that's the risk we run into. We've invested 100K over here, 100K for this app, 100K for this, 100K. So I've invested 400 racks into black people mm -hmm. with this same stuff. Mm -hmm. We got this for you. Mm -hmm. This going to do this. Mm -hmm. It's going to do that. Right. I understand. So are you uh, giving me a winded explanation to kind of come back to the answer being no? Think about this. Like, there's nothing wrong with shooting your shot at an investor. But why would you put a guest on your podcast in such an uncomfortable situation like this? Like, who thinks this is a great idea? Now, what's even worse is after he says no, after he says, eh, I'm not really feeling it. She's still pushing and pushing and pushing, and she really puts them in a really uncomfortable spot. Almost, yeah, because so, we're, we're just scared of it. Like, it's not that we don't want to. It's just... I think Asia was coming with a different angle. Go Asia, ahead. let me... I think you were more open to the suggestion, and you handled the finances anyway. So. I'm scared it's of cussing people really, out again. I'm sorry. It's I, I'm, not really about If I don't get openness. my money back, I'm going to be mad. That's all I'm going to say. Well, I yeah. yeah. I that part, sure. too. Look, we are half a million dollars in already. If we don't get our money back, we're going to be mad. So I feel you. The husband says no, so now she goes to harassing the wife. Now, here's the thing. She says, yo, we've already put $500,000 of our own money into this project. That number is important because watch how much she asked them for. And watch how she asked them for that money. The amount that she wants from them is, is literally an insane amount to, to pitch on a podcast. Yeah. I think right now it's just not the best timing especially for the projects that exactly. we're trying to like complete. we, we got to like give even our all, to all those every penny got to go into this right now yeah if you, that makes sense it's just 1.3 million just yeah it's just 1.3 that 1.3 can be for our renovation exactly diversification i'll I say this it. holler at us after we complete this museum if we have some change left you know what i'm saying once we at least give our all to these projects because we want to bet on ourselves first before okay. we try to bet on somebody else. We still going to go to dinner after this anyway and still talk <laughs> about it because I'm persistent. That's how I got to where I am today. After harassing them on a podcast and trying to finesse them out of $1.3 million, you're now going to bring this harassment over a dinner <laughs> later that night. Bro, they said no. Like, take no for an answer, right? Or at least like, like, Take the pitch to an actual meeting, bro. Like, inviting somebody onto your podcast to try to swindle them out of $1.3 million to me is just scummy. And then, like, telling them, hey, tonight when we're doing dinner, bro, I'm going to still pitch it. It's like, come on, bro. Like, yo, that's how you get people to stop hanging out with you, bro. Like, that's literally how you scare people off, man. Now, I don't know nothing about this chick. She could be a great chick. 
I'm not saying she's not. I'm just saying, Brett, this is not the right way to go about things as a podcast host, Brett. So, I mean, like, our job is to make the people feel as comfortable as possible, Brett. And, you know, and asking for $1.3 million on a podcast couch probably isn't the best thing to do. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Am I tripping or am I spitting? Let me know, right? And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen somewhere here to find out some more podcast drama. A broke, desperate, clout-chasing R&B singer fake getting beat up on a podcast for some clout. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm going to see you guys in this video. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.